Okay, welcome back, just and gentlemen. I'm your host, Crazy Nate, and today we're talking about something a little bit different because every time I get one of these new movies from Disney Movie Club or Target or Walmart, whatever, crack it open, right inside you see, get five movies for free or buy one, get one 50%. Join our club. Is this a cult? Is this a good deal or is it a scam? Let's talk about it. <laughs> So right out of the gate, I'm gonna tell you this. No, I'm not sponsored by Disney, and yes, this is all my own opinion, and I actually spent my own money. I've been working on this project for over a year now. I'm gonna talk about all the pros and cons of my little journey with Disney Movie Club. First of all, I'll mention I bought Hocus Pocus up here, and I bought it from the club for $13.17. Then later on, I saw it at Walmart for $9.96. Granted, Walmart is going to charge taxes in addition to that, which I don't think I get charged taxes. Yeah, $0 for tax. So you don't get charged taxes when you buy from Disney Movie Club, but you buy from Walmart, you're going to get taxes. Regardless, even with the taxes, it would have been cheaper at Walmart. Sometimes it's really hard to find a store that's selling a specific movie I'm looking for. So I go to Target and Walmart or multiple Targets, multiple Walmarts, Amazon, and finally I find one or sometimes I don't even find one. And one of the problems I had with Amazon, I bought Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. I bought a kit on Blu-ray and it was going to be something I didn't really need it because I had it on uh, DVD and I figured out eventually one day I'll open it. Well, one day like a year later I opened it and it doesn't work on any of my Blu-ray players, which I have like three of them. And turns out it's a co counterfeit, fake. And I went to Amazon, I'm like, hey, this is fake. And they're like, you bought this a year ago. So I was kind of up doo-doo creek without a paddle. So yeah, I lost my money on that one. So one of the problems with Amazon, I'm not saying Amazon's all scam. I've gotten plenty of legitimate movies from Amazon. The problem is, if you're not gonna open it right away, if you do, they have a great return policy, all that, but you do have that risk that you have to worry about that it, you're not getting authentic ones. This, I just bought it from the Disney Movie Store. You know it's a real Disney movie because it came from the Disney Movie Club. Speaking of Blu-ray, um, you might notice I have several Toy Story of Terrors so basically, here's the story on that. How are their return policy? It's amazing, okay? Um, I will say that, it's a great return policy. So this one came in the mail, busted up in a bunch of little pieces like that, and I was like, hey, um, not really cool. I mean, I can use this, but I'd like to have one that's not jacked up. And it came with a dust cover, that's what this is called. Slides over it all cool and everything. Like, no worries, we'll send you a uh, package with a new one, and we'll uh, give you a return label. Uh, so you can return it for free. You don't have to pay any shipping charges. So they sent me another one. It was broken too. Right there, it's broken. And I was like, come on guys. <laughs> can I please have one that's not broken? I really appreciate it. They said, don't worry about it. We'll send you another one. We'll send you a return receipt. And then they finally sent me this one. If you notice though, I have three Toy Story of Terrors and I only have one dust cover. So the very first one that I got had a dust cover and the other two didn't. So I'm keeping the dust cover and I'm gonna woo. And I'm gonna woo. And I'm gonna mail back these two uh, with the return label. The only downside is you have to buy an envelope. Um, I buy in bulk so I have a lot of envelopes, but if you don't and you're one of those people that buy them from like Target or Walmart, you're gonna spend like 15 bucks for like four envelopes, which is a rip off. But nonetheless, you have to cough, cough, cough up an envelope, so that's a drag. One of the stipulations they stick you on is you have to buy five movies at full retail price in order to stay in the club. And I think there's some sort of fee, like they end up charging you the full price for the original sign-up deal that they gave you where you get like five movies for a killer price. Well, those five movies, you'll have to pay full price for them if you don't fulfill this contract within a year. But that being said, if you're really into Disney and you like all their new movies that come out, like Cars 3 and stuff like that, and you want to get it right when it comes out, um, you, they're going to send you a notice in the mail or by email, however you prefer, and you basically say, yes, um, I want this, or no, I don't. And you say yes five times, bam, your contract's fulfilled. But anywho, so I bought 31 movies in this case. I don't, I'm sure I bought more from them, but this is all the receipts I could find. Basically, out of the 31 movies I bought in this invoice, um, it costs $460.97. That equates out to $12.13 each. So, granted, the fact that most of them were DVDs, I'd say about two thirds of them were DVDs. Um, 
I don't know. If if you if you're not in a rush, buy them. A lot of times you, get, you can find DVDs for like ten bucks. Um, also, another thing with stuff like Cars Three, you end up getting multiple uh, Blu-rays. If you're like me, I need to get it the day it comes out because I need to start looking at it with a fine tooth comb. So a lot of times, even though you pre-ordered it, it doesn't show up in your mailbox till like the second or third day after it already came out on Blu-ray and DVD at your local store. One thing that's cool though is free stuff. Who doesn't like free stuff? They give you stuff like this, little to and from stickers to put on cards or, or authentic, authentic pens that you know aren't counterfeit, eBay. And uh, they give you these cool lithographs. I know, um, this is Beauty and the Beast by the way, if you can't see it. I know she doesn't fit in the frame, but it's the best frame I could find for her. Um, here's, I got a car Street one. And then uh, Pirates of the Caribbean one, Guardians of the Galaxy, and they're kind of they're kind of cool, high quality images. Um, so eventually, I'll probably get one of those big frames and put them all in there together. And then you get cool letters from the creators of movies, which is kind of cool to see. I mean, if you wanted to Google it, you could probably find someone leaks out the letter so you can read it still. But it's cool that you get your own copy from them. Also, like during Christmas time, they had Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales, which is what I got most of this stuff from. And by the way, all the sales were for DVDs that I could find. I didn't see any sales for Blu-ray. <sighs> Anywho, they give you these cool little card uh, boxes, I guess. So if you want to get rid of your DVDs, now you can give them away as Christmas gifts, which is kind of cool. And they give, they don't go cheap. They give you enough for every single one that you had in your order. So I bought quite a few in that order. So I got a bunch of envelopes. But yeah, cute little box with a little Mickey Mouse ornament, hidden Easter egg, bang. <laughs> well, probably wasn't really a hidden Easter egg. But yeah, your uh, DVD fits in there perfect. Close it up, mail it away. That's kind of cool. So at the end of the day, do I think it's a good deal to get the Disney Movie Club? Well, if you're a Disney fan and you have a ton of movies already and you're only buying like the new movies when they come out, I don't know if you're going to see a benefit in it. You might. I mean, it's cool to get the free stuff every once in a while. Like it, if you don't have to get the movie the day it comes out and you can get it like in the mail in the next one to three days, then yeah, I would, I would go to the club because then you're not going to get a custom pen from Disney uh, when you buy it from Target or Walmart. Okay, they're just gonna give you the blu-ray and say have a nice day And then security's gonna check your bags and take you in the back and be like did you steal this? And you're like I have a receipt and then they're like fine get out of our store. And you're like uh, You're welcome. I'm glad I shopped here <laughs> uh, But yeah, when you buy it from here, you're gonna get the cool pen or you're gonna get a letter or you're gonna get a bookmark <laughs> for people who read <laughs> I would also say if you are lacking in the movie collection and you want to build up your movie library, I think it's probably a good spot to go because most stores aren't going to sell Hunchback of Notre Dame 2 or Dumbo. Like, who buys that anymore? Like, nobody. And Dumbo, by the way, I only got it for like six bucks. That was the cheapest movie I ever bought from them, so that was cool. Um, so yeah, if, if you want to build up your movie library, sure, get it. But another thing to keep in mind that I noticed the other day, like a lot of these things I didn't really read the details and then like afterwards I'm looking at my receipts I'm like, oh, they charged me for this and that, blah, blah, blah. So here's the thing. So like they have a deal like as a member, you get, you buy one movie at full price. Like let's say you're gonna buy a dozen Blu-rays, right? You buy one movie at full price and then all the rest of them are 50% off. Well, what they don't tell you is like, so you pre-order like Cars 3, right? It didn't come out yet. So you pre-order Cars 3. You also order like three other really cool Blu-ray movies. Well, they don't count Cars 3 as your first one at full retail. They don't even pretend it's there. They charge another movie as full retail and then they give you the discount rates. Kind of a drag. Also, their shipping charges, come on, they're crazy. So for my last order, I paid $21.83 for shipping. And that wasn't even like overnight shipping or anything. So like they charge you, I don't know what the fees are. It's like $3.95 and then an additional $1.49 per movie. And then like if the movie set, it's like $5.44. Like, and then additional $1.49 for each movie after that. So I feel like they're just trying to rake in as much money as they can off each movie title, which I get it. They got to stay in business. But at the end of the day, you're looking for a deal. So is it a deal? It might be. It might be a deal for you. Um, oh, yeah. Here's another one I got. Cool little Bambi. This one actually might have came from inside the DVD. Because a lot of times, sorry, Blu-ray. When you buy the Blu-rays, a lot of times you got cool stuff that come inside them. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, do I think it's worth it? Uh, 
it may or may not be. You have to look at all the options and uh, circumstances I brought before you here today and make your own educated decision. Am I going to continue my membership? That might help you decide whether or not you have yours. Actually, I probably will. Even with all the little hiccups, um, like buying all these DVDs, thinking I was buying Blu-rays, that's my own fault. Um, you just got to be a little bit careful when you're looking in the subject line, like you're searching for something. Don't just click the add to cart button. You got to click on the image or click on the title and then read the description to see if you're actually buying a DVD or Blu-ray. If you don't care, then buy the DVD. It's cheaper. But if you're like me and you're trying to get everything to turn to Blu-ray, read the description, make sure you're actually buying the Blu-ray. And chances are, don't expect to get a deal on your Blu-rays. Anywho, that's it for me. I know this is not as exciting and woohoo as some of my other videos because it's not in everything you missed. But I thought, hey, you're watching movies or me talk about Disney movies. So that probably means you're buying Disney movies. So I thought I'd give you my unbiased opinion of the Disney Movie Club. Now, the Disney Movie Rewards, that's a whole different story, and that's a story for another day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Share a smile. They are contagious. Hey, share a smile. They're contagious. Can you imagine a day without smiling? <laughs> that would be outrageous. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.